Beloved, welcome back. A lot of you have been asking what's going on with this. I thought West Coast guy was tougher than making a big deal about a little broken finger, and I would agree with you. I wasn't even gonna deal with it. I pulled it out and put some tape on it. It was my broken rib that it was my problem. So what happened was after the speed run, I, uh, I wasn't running the camera. I was on my way home and I dipped into a little forest and I tried to Graham Jarvis over a big tree and ending up looping out, falling backwards and putting like a punji stick right in my back, which cracked my rib right where it goes into the spine. And something in the melee tore up my finger and broke my ring finger on my right hand. Well, that was no big deal. Apart from being 20 miles from home, it was a rough ride home, but I got home and Day three, day four, the finger was getting worse and worse and it was, the swelling wasn't going down. And sometimes you just know when something is wrong. And what happened is I had an open fracture. Now, I didn't know what a big deal this was until I went in, I, I made an appointment with the, the orthopedic surgeon that fixed my broken leg from what, two years ago. And she got to looking at it and she said, when's the last time you've eaten? I said, well, I just had tacos like an hour ago. She's like, be here at nine. We need to go into emergency surgery because when you break a bone and it is exposed to the outside and it got a bunch of dirt and stuff in it, you know, dirty dirt bike gloves. And it was, it was, it's, it's, it's a life threatening thing or it can be, you can get a terrible infection. So Mrs. W and I just chilled around there and they reopened the hospital that was closed for the weekend. I felt so bad to drag all those people out that were on call, but uh, what, uh, what a wonderful experience. The good folks at Providence uh, were truly amazing, um, just wonderful. So we went in for emergency surgery and um, she reset it because it was all jacked up and healing crooked, uh, cleaned everything on all out and, and put me in the, the lobster claw here. So this is where I'm at. So when I went in, I was really complaining about the, what really was giving me trouble was the broken rib. And she essentially told me, you're just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it. It's six weeks of pain and uh, there's not much we can do, but the finger uh, was the bigger problem. So that's why I'm wearing the lobster claw. And that's what happened. Lessons learned from this. Don't cross logs when you're over 50 and don't go out riding 20, 25 miles from home without having a buddy. When I, it, it hurts so bad coming back, I had to ride with my left throttle, or my left hand on the throttle and, and I kept giving myself little milestones. I read a book years ago about a guy that was left or dead, I think it was on K2 or Everest or some big climb and they thought he was dead and his partner abandoned him and he ended up just crawling his way down. And how he got through it was he just gave himself little goals, you know, just if I could just make it to this rock, if I could just make it to this tree. And that's what I was telling myself, you know, as the shock starts wearing off, you know, like, okay, if I could just make it here, then I know I have cell service, I'll call Mrs. W and then she can meet me. If I could just, so I just kept going and eventually got home. So that's what happened. Broken rib on the back, six weeks. I'm going to be not be able to lift stuff, but um, it's not terrible. You know, it's it's all, only terrible when you try to sleep because I move around a lot. And then this guy here, we're going in right now, and then she'll take it off, and we'll see. Hopefully, we didn't get an infection in there, but it feels good so far. So I really do appreciate all of your prayers, all of your kindness, and that's the explanation of what uh, what happened. So I've got some very excellent, low-effort content planned for you when I get back. And we'll see you over there. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers. And we'll see you all on the next video.